Here comes the offering from Josiah Gray, and the pitch is swung on and hit high and deep to right field. Calls going back out of the warning track, racing back at the wall, in and out of his leather and over the wall. It's a leadoff home run for Louisa Rise. It's one nothing Miami. I think Alex Call had that baseball in his glove, and when he hit the fence, it lodged the baseball out of his glove on his left hand. Ball rolls over the wall. That's a leadoff bomb for Luis Arraz. Bring Jake Berger to the plate. Swung on and lifted in the air to right field. This is hit really well. Calls going back, running out of room. Goodbye! The Marlins have gone deep twice here in the top of the first inning. Now it's Jake Berger's turn with two outs. That's a two-run bomb. It's 3-0 Miami. Here's Joey Manessis. We have liftoff, and we have a problem. Here's a bomb to the berm and left by Joey Manessis. And just like that, we're tied at three. Vladimir Gutierrez, along with Josiah Gray, are getting rocked here in the first. out with us, making us a part of your Saturday. It's nice and sunny. First pitch here in the bottom of the first inning to C.J. Abrams. is hit high and deep to the berm, out to right center field. That is already the third home run of the ball game. The Marlins and the Nationals exchanging leadoff homers. Abrams goes deep for the second time this spring. It's three to one. Kelly puts a charge into this one in the left. Lockridge going back. Does it have enough? That ball is gone. Touch him all time, Carson Kelly. And it's 8-5 Tigers here in the third. Back up there. So this is the second time they pulled this on me, <laughs> yeah. where they send him back out. Parker sends this one out to right, hit pretty well. Gonzalez going back at the warning track at the wall, and it's gone. Touch him all time, Parker Meadows. He's two for two. He's homered in his last two home games here in Lakeland. The Tigers right back on top. It's, now it's Alex three. Bregman. He's been known to see some pitches. Bregman cranks this one deep to left center field, racing back on it. Bader still going back at the wall, looking up. See you later. Three-run home run for Alex Bregman, and the Astros have a three-to-nothing lead. That's kind of what you're looking for. Bregman comes up with two men on with Alvarez and Tucker and cleans it up. Got a pitch to his liking on a 1-0 count and drove it to left center field. Or maybe his best swing is Bregman now. Five-nothing lead. This one slugged to left field and hit deep. Going back on it, Nemo, still going back, and it's gone. Another three-run shot by Alex Bregman. Astros lead 8-0 as Bregman takes care of a hanger. And Bregman was ready for it. Going to try and bury that breaking ball in 0-2. His batting stroke looks so good right now, so good. Tucker will stand in. Tucker is one for three with a single, and that's hit in the air pretty deep to right center. Racing back is Juan, still going back, looking up. See you later! Right by the grassy berm in deep right center field, Kyle Tucker goes deep, and the Astros' lead is 9-1. to one. That's Kyle's third jack in the spring. That was a rainbow, a high shot to right center field. Yeah, that was not a cheapie, 376 feet out to the right center. I hope they gave her the baseball. She's got a smile on her face. She's getting some air time. Batting for the first time today, and that is hammered deep to left field. Going back on it is Antonio looking up. See you later! Shea Whitcomb hits it off the roof of the patio area in left field. The Astros' fourth home run of the day, and it is 11-5 Houston. That was a loud crack of the bat, too. Wickham showing off that power that he displayed last year in the minor league. Stewart and Brewer's turn. Pinch ran in the sixth, has stayed in the game. And that's hammered deep down the left field line. And that ball is gone. Onto the patio area and left field for Jordan Brewer, second home run of the inning. And the Astros' lead is 12 to 5. And you're talking about putting one on the barrel. Jordan Brewer flexing his muscles like Shea Whitcomb before. Pedro Leone's turn. Hide the kids, this could be another one. And that's hammered deep to left field, and you can kiss that one goodbye. Back-to-back -back jacks, first Brewer, then Pedro Leon, the third home run and four batters for the Astros here in the eighth, and it is 13 to 5. Well, you love this, and you love to see Pedro Leon kind of come into his own. Might be the, the season that the Astros see him at the big league. Scattered level. white clouds above. There's a shot into right. And that ball is going to get out of here. Well, as we expected, you get that ball up to right today, it's got a chance to go, and Wong hits his first home run of the spring. Runner at first with Wong reaching on what turned out to be a fielder's choice. Kowser's 
in the batter's box and he lifts this one deep down the right side. Is it fair or foul? And that's a fair ball and gone. So the young outfielder who will be breaking camp and in the lineup for Baltimore has just hit one out. His sixth home run of the plate appearance of the day. Skies it into right. Rhodes will go back and that ball is going to get out of here. Home run to right field. Well, this game started when Colton Wong hit the second pitch of the day out to right. And Randy on the first pitch here in his at bat in the bottom of the eighth. It's his fourth home run of the spring, the opposite field shot. He's on the 60 day IL. Ozzy Albies with a wind blowing down that right field line off the wall. That's a homer. They did correct it. It went above that yellow line. Ozzy looked like, wait, I thought I got enough, and he did. And the brains are out in front. Well, you called it. The wind is blowing out to right, get the ball in the air, and it will carry. And he hit this ball well, but I think on a normal day, probably not out of here. It's a hanging curveball. Ozzy is somebody younger, maybe an opportunity. Cal Connolly gives this a ride to right, and that's gone. Well, Cal Conley, the fourth round pick for the Braves in 2021, leaves the yard, and it's 5 to 2. A nice moment for him. We'll take a look at this pitch. Looks like it might have been a little cutter or a four seamer with some cut to it, but elevated and over the middle of the plate. The infield remains in for the catcher, Jake Rogers, who gets one in the air to deep right center field, and it's gone. Rogers, who hit 21 homers a year ago for the Tigers, gives Detroit an early 3 to nothing lead. In the air to left, Devontae Brown back, turns, and it's gone. A three-run home run for Ibanez, second home run that the Tigers have hit today, as they now lead 6-2. to Number two. nine hitter, Akil Badu. I think you need to keep an eye on as this one is Ammer to right field. Akil Badu hits it way on out of here. And that is the third home run the Tigers have hit off Yusei Kikuchi here this afternoon. Opportunity presented itself. But it's different now. Well hit ball straight away center field. But do back. And it's gone. Justin Turner with his third home run of the spring. And it is eight to seven. Some guys just know how to drive in runs. And Justin Turner is one of those guys. And he is ready for the. 0-2 count on Oswaldo. High fly ball. Deep right. Pache back. Track. Wall. See ya. A home run for Cabrera. The Yankees on the board. It's 5-2 Phils. Well, Cabrera is really starting to turn it on offensively. Kind of a slow start in spring training. Starting to swing the bat a lot better. And uh, we talked uh, yesterday about, you know, how much more comfortable he is on the left side of the plate as a left-handed hitter. No problem. Here is Edward Olivares. Is this hard toward the right field line near the wall and it is gone. Edward Olivares three run opposite field home run gives the Pirates the lead four to one and for Olivares that is his first home run of the spring the 49th for the Pirates team the most in all of Major League Baseball this spring. Here's three two runners going and that ball's hit high in the air right field. Duran into the corner, still tracking, looks up, out of here. A Matt Walner two-run homer down the right field line, and the Twins lead 3-1. to one. That wasn't the hard breaking ball. It looked like off speed, but it was up, and Walner didn't miss. Eighth pitch. McGuire hammers it. Right field, well struck toward the bullpen. Got and now he's gone. It's a slam for Reese McGuire and the Sox lead. And then gives him something to hammer right here. Slider, middle, middle, see ya. Full extension. That's got to feel good. In any count. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep left center. Robert will look up. It's gone. Canzone launches a two run shot. And all of a sudden it's 4 nothing Seattle and all their hits this inning have been to the opposite field. It took off like they thought they might make the play only to realize wait a minute I'm not going to get there. And in this case for sure you're never going to get there it's a home run. 
Eloy Jimenez swings at the first pitch from Trent Thornton, and it is a home run left field and way over the bullpen. I think he hit it over the foul pole. It's seven to two. Oh, he knew he got all of that one. It was going to be a souvenir, just a matter of if it was going to be fair. Wind kind of pushing it foul a little bit. Not enough as he crushed that one. Record 263 earned run average. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball into the gap in right center field. Going back Montez to the one he tracked, looking up. Goodbye baseball again. Mark Torello with a three run home run. Anything in the air is going to go a long way to right field. Flags really blown out toward right center. Mark Torello with a three run drive. And seven runs are in for San Diego here in the top half of any number two. two, two. Swinging its club high and deep out to the gap in right center field. Ornelas got every bit of this. It's onto the burn for a three run home run. And the Padres have taken the lead back. It's now 10 to 8 San Diego. That was a blast. A two out three run home run. Nolan Shonowell hits this ball high, deep, long drive. Welcome back, Nolan Shonowell. An exclamation point to his spring training. Two-run blast has put the Halos out in front. Two-nothing here in the first. After that at bat, you might as well just take those cleats off, take that timing, get it on the airplane, and head to Southern California. Absolutely ready to hit, and he was all over this pitch in the big part. Brooks still on the mound for the A's. Nelson Rada hits a fly ball right field. Rada sends this one deep, and Rada goes yard. That ball was way back. In the first inning, we saw Shonawell go a little bit more towards the light tower, but Nelson Rada. Just 18 years old, Nelson Rada, a five-tool threat, showed the power tool right there. Murphy hits a high drive to left center field. It sure sounded good, and it is gone. They exploded off his bat. Tom Murphy ties the game with one swing. He definitely got some extension there, and he knew it. He gave it a nice casual trot the second he hit that sucker. I mean, gets the foot down, and he knew it he immediately. He does know that uh, Oracle, Park, Oracle Park has a big center field that he has to take cover. All right, well, and how about one of your new teammates, Marco Luciano, while you were talking about all the room to roam and your new Oracle Park home, Marco Luciano hits one right beneath the scoreboard. Uh, I would like to say from out of all the home runs that he's seen in his baseball career, what's the most wonderful home run? <laughs> I think, you know, you kind of have to believe it to see it kind of backwards. I see that one going somewhere. That one will go. F nope. Home run. Home run. That's the it factor. <laughs> And right on cue, that's his first home run of the spring. As that one way out of here to right field. That bend it around the lower foul pole out there. 2-1 pitch. Hit well to left. Going back to the wall and looking up. Bye-bye, baby. So we talked about time to turn up the wick, and Candelario has done just that in this final week. He touches them all. It's his first home run of the spring and a 3-0 Reds lead. The confidence that he feels from rounding the bases, from squaring a ball up like that, driving the ball the other way, these are all good things mentally for him. The injuries have hit you, and there's a long drive to left center, and the park will not hold that one. It's a two-run home run off the bat of Alan Trejo, and it's a 3-2 game. I'm going to jump in real quick for a baseball thing, but Alan Trejo, you remember the first at bat he had against Frankie. I mean, it was eight or nine pitches. So the more you see the ball coming out of his hand, the more you recognize the movement of his pitches, the better chance you're going to have to go to down to the minor leagues. Are, was there any concern about how that would affect them mentally? Because, I mean, look, man. I, Goodbye. <laughs> how about the power of Ellie De La Cruz? I'm sorry to interrupt you, oh. Sam. But opposite field power, that ball just kept drifting and drifting. Wind aided a bit. But that is the talent of De La Cruz, opposite field on a ball which he probably didn't even get all no, I wouldn't. I would not imagine. Yeah, we made some signings this offseason. But we want to. Oh, that's Spencer, a <laughs> steer, bye-bye, baby. Way out of here. 
I called that one for you. Did you? I just said it's gone. <laughs> home run number three on the spring. And the third, fourth home run today for Reds hitters. I think the wind could have been blowing in at Wrigley Field and that one was getting out. <laughs> All we got to do is have you sit up here, Nick. 